Nicholas, we got to the episode that's uh, called The Replacement, and we were impressed by the special effects, the doubling effects. That's the one where, you, where Xander gets split in two. Yes. The good side and the bad side. And we were impressed by the special effects until we realized that that's your twin brother. Yes. So, is there any way that we can know for sure that you're you and not your twin brother? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's that. And I, I mean, I love him, but I, I, he's not the best actor in the world. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you play the straight standard or the No, I play, I play both. <laughs> yeah, no, I just I changed my clothes. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I wasn't. Yeah, people always think that. It's like, wait, wait, hold on. No, I would do is I would do cool Xander, and then I would make my hair all floppy, change clothes, and I would play um, frumpy Xander. <laughs> Whatever. Slop. Slocky. I'm not. What's the word? Is, is there a good word? I thought both of the Xanders were cool. Thank you. <laughs> you are. You're my favorite henchman. I'm a minchu. <laughs> so, of course, Claire played Glory. Yes, she was one of my evil recipes. Uh, now, you were like the original bad blonde girl in a red dress instead of six. Just saying. that red dress by the time you were done shooting the season? I, you know, the, probably one of the most common questions is, did you get to keep the red dress? And there's no, I didn't. I believe they sold it on eBay. Um, it, was a, it was a Prada dress. It was nice. I wasn't sick of it, but I was happy to retire for a bit. We all like the dress in our mind. So let's, let's go around with all, with all three of you. What was your favorite and your least favorite thing about working on Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Well, we were just talking about this backstage. <laughs> James, what was, what did you say? No, I, um, I, my favorite thing about it was, um, doing it. I mean, it's, you know, because being there from, like, the conception of it and then seeing it kind of, like, grow into this kind of pop culture crazy whirly gig thing. <laughs> Awesome. And then, um, I don't know, like, like the least favorite probably uh, having to shoot beer bad. <laughs> <laughs> having to, and having it be, it's like, you know, like, because I, I had a handful of, like, you know, Xander, Xanderific episodes, and, and, and the fact that beer bad is, is a Xanderific episode really, really hurts my soul. <laughs> my favorite part of uh, shooting was always the fight days, uh, Friday night. Um, I don't know why, but the time just goes by really fast when you're doing a fight call. And I, I always enjoy hanging out with stunt men and stunt women. Uh, they tend to be very deadly and very friendly. Uh, and also, they started they started doing my dialogue in the fight because they noticed they noticed that that was working nicely. And I, I always thought that my acting was good because I was concentrating on the fight moves and I wasn't acting so much. Um, and my least favorite part of it was definitely uh, bleaching my hair. <laughs> so I remember the first time I saw you, we, I think we were, we were at, I think it was a Without a Trace audition, like three years ago. Yeah. And I walked in and I'm like, and James was like, hey, Lincoln. I'm like, who the fuck? I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Now it's, it's so weird. I mean, I can still picture you as a blonde. Man. Yeah, I mean, it looks great, but. No, this is all. There would be bloody plus that would dribble down my face. I remember you saying how painful that was. Yeah. How often did you have to get bleached? Uh, every episode. Oh, oh, every episode oh, because wow. a vampire's hair is not supposed to grow, so you can't have roots. Yeah. Those, I think those were all the, the women groaning. Did you hear that? Because no. <laughs> oh. you know. Yeah. We, all, we all know how much work it takes to look natural. Yeah. <laughs> Claire, Claire, how about you? What was your, your favorite well, well, favorite? Uh, <laughs> and everything. Um, other than that, I really liked working with the 
the writing, obviously, was really good on that show. And for my character, there was a lot of like monologue and a lot of free play, kind of um, lyrical writing almost. And, and that was really an interesting thing and kind of reminiscent of the theater, which was my background at that point. So I like I like that aspect of the show. Season five was such a, a landmark season, you know, with the, the introduction of Dawn and the whole story arc through there. How much of the since you talked about the writing, how much of the storyline did you get to know in advance? <laughs> <laughs> well, and we were lucky if we got a full script. <laughs> we oftentimes we would only have an outline in one episode and the scenes that were gonna be shot that day and the rest of it was Yeah. Yeah. I and found out that I was losing my eye by reading the script. <laughs> puts his thumb through his hand, and I'm like, it must be one of those things where then Willow will come and will heal my eye. Like, yeah, I'll have a spell. And then all of a sudden it's like, no, he's in the hospital. <laughs> delivered to your door, not emailed to you, and so it would, you know, a brown envelope would come sliding under my front door, and I'd run to it and see if I died or whatever, and same thing, I found out I was a god by reading it in the script, and I was like, oh, oh, okay. Did you, did you read the scripts backward, too? Because I was oh, yeah, to I was, I get this one? Yeah, I would flip to the end and see what happened and make sure I was still going to be, you know, around. There were times where I wouldn't find things out until after we shot it, which is interesting. <laughs> read the Dark Horse Buffy comics? Do you know what they've done with your characters? I do. I don't. <laughs> okay. I, I haven't read them, but fans keep me updated with Yeah, them. yeah. Do you, do, you, do you approve? I, you know, I think Xander had the sex with Don. It's kind of... <laughs> Maybe 14. So I still see Michelle as a 14 year old. Which I don't know what state you're from, but in my state, that's illegal. I saw her on the cover of Maxim. I'm like, Michelle, that's very, very crazy. I'm by Chuck Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Questions open to the audience. Uh, Buffy ended a while ago, so I'm sure people are interested in what you guys have been doing recently. Larry, you started directing, is that right? Uh, yes, I'm fortunate to that field a little bit, but I also have a couple projects coming out. I have a movie that's a kidnapping movie called Endure coming out. Um, I have a movie called The Dead Ones, which is directed by Jeremy Kasdan, who also directed The Thirst that I was in. It's like a little six sense type movie. So, a couple things going on. Then I'm actually starting to shoot something next week, but the deal's not totally finalized, so can't talk about it yet. <laughs> and Nick, 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 Nicky. Okay. Nicky is what I go by. Nicky, what, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? I've been taking a lot of bats. Um, <laughs> no, it's no joke. I I, uh, I fell out of my shower about three three weeks ago, and I took my shower curtain out with me. Oh. So I've been taking about three or four bats a day. <laughs> Yes, I do. I'm a. Show of hands. How many people are going? Yeah, how many people coming? Yeah. 30 at the Hard Rock have been one of us to show up. I think there are some seats left. Um, other than that, um, I'm on Hawaii 5 0. Um, let's see, I did Smallville this year. Did Dragon Ball Evolution. In the DC Universe online video game. Yeah. Uh, this voiceover. Yeah, no, I want to do voiceovers. I don't have an agent. I did play a rape this time in private practice, and I'm on Criminal Minds. Yeah, so. <laughs> but I've still been taking three to four bats a day. That's not a lot. That's why you want the voiceover, right? You can do it from your bath. Ask 
absolutely. The acoustics are amazing in the bathroom. I'll make a YouTube video and I'll show you. Ha, ha, ha. 